He draws a walk, and now don't bet against him running, even though you have LeMayu and Judge and Rizzo coming up. There he goes. Pitch is high. Throw to second. It's a stolen base. Case in point right there. You can see he started out with a short lead, and before Webb delivers the ball, he's already hopping and running. To so get all his momentum going before the ball's delivered to home plate, he's easily in there. And there he goes. Pitch is taken. No throw. What a jump. I mean, what he he left. I had this in my eye. Just when Cobb was coming home, he couldn't stop. Absolutely tremendous stolen base. <laughs> going to third is Volpe. No throw. And going behind him is Torres. No throw. So a double steal. And that's the third stolen base for Anthony Volpe. As he just lulls Jelly to sleep, Labor Torres heads up. There's a group he has joined in the stolen base in each of his first three major league games. Allen's driven deep to left field. Going back, Castro. Track, wall, see ya. First home run in the big leagues. Anthony Volpe gives the Yankees a 1 0 lead. Well, you can only hold that emotion in so long. Running around those bases, you're like flying. You'll never forget your first hit and now your first home run with your Anthony Volpe. Runner goes. Throw to second. Wow. It goes to the second baseman, <laughs> Juliet. Wow. Well, this is a part of the game that fans know and love. Volpe can run 50 some stolen bases in the minor leagues, and that was kind of an errant throw right there. There he goes. Throw to second. Another stolen base. He's five for five. Well, again, he likes to get that little jump hop into a run. It just gives him a better jump, much better throw, but still clearly in there. And I think as the year goes on, you're going to see a lot of this from Volpe. Big part of his game in the minor leagues. And, and there he, he takes off, off the third. They weren't even paying attention to it. Well, that's the only way you go to third with two outs. So just an easy no throw stolen base. Runner goes. It's a stolen base for Volpe, his seventh of the year. No throw from Vasquez. And Vasquez yet to throw a runner out this year. That's 0 for 6 right now. But Volpe, you know, he was trying with two outs, gauge that little hop step into a stolen base, and it worked. Swing and a miss. Volpe takes third. So, but he could have stole third standing up there. Just timed it perfect right there. You see that little jump step into a run. That's a gimme right there. Volpe hits a fly ball to right field and deep. Going back Springer on the track at the wall. See ya. A home run for Volpe the other way. It is 2 nothing Yankees. Yeah, ball up in the strike zone. And the young player, you talk to it. You don't know the ballpark that well, but boy, I tell you what. You can't fight emotion. So much fun to watch. Fly ball deep right going back Brennan on the track at the wall. See ya. A home run the other way for Volpe. And the Yankees are on the board. It's 2-1 Guardians. Do you realize that you can reach the seats where you don't have to pull the ball? And we talked a lot early in the year where he was getting out on a lot of pitches away. Warner goes. Pitches high. Throw to second. Not in time. Solo base number nine for Anthony Volpe. I was glad to see that he stole that base flat-footed where he didn't get into the hop. And I think Anthony Volpe obviously has the speed to steal bases. And he's going to have to learn to do that also where he, they pitchers make him stop. Warner goes to third, swung on and missed. Another stolen base for Volpe, his 10th of the year. There he goes. Pitch outside. The throw goes into center field. Volpe gets up. He'll head to third. The throw, not in time. A stolen base in E2, and Volpe's at third. Speed puts pressure on the defense. A good jump. Mejia comes up underneath it. Not even close with the throw. High fly ball. Deep center. Going back Ruiz. Still back on the track at the wall. See ya. A grand slam for the kid. And the Yankees lead 11-2. Anthony Volpe been going through one of those stretches where he's been hitting the ball hard and not a whole lot to show for it. Well, that smile tells the whole story. That one swing of the bat, his fourth home run of the year, his first big league grand slam. 
Fly ball, right field and deep. Going back is low. Turning, looking. See ya. He goes the other way. Ties the game in two. Oh, so much for that double play kill in the rally, huh, Michael? All of a sudden, Volpe hits his fourth of the year. Or his fifth of the year. 14th RBI. i tell you, the more he sees the ball travel to right field, you see how he's staying back a little bit longer on that ball away now than he was earlier in the year. There goes Volpe. The throw to second. Not in time. Stolen base. He's 12 for 12. They're very aggressive. I mean, a big, big, tall right-handed reliever, usually slow to the plate. This ended up being closer than I thought it was going to be, but he's in there, and Anthony Volpe in scoring position. Volpe goes to third. He'll steal third. 13 for 13. No throw. They're not even going to attempt to throw there. It could end up in left field and the Yankees steal a run. But, you know, it does mean something because, you know, Thompson bounces a breaking ball or something, then Volpe can score here. High fly ball, deep left, going back on Rosarena on the track at the wall. See ya. The kid does it again. A two run home run, and the Yankees pull to within one. All of a sudden, this has become an old hat for Anthony Volpe, his sixth of the year. 16th and 17th RBI, and again, you sneak up and you look up. Now you're down by one. Now when it's drilled to left field, and that ball is off the screen. A home run for Volpe. A big home run. And the Yankees lead by a score of four to two. A lightning bolt right down the line and up against the screen. This is what you call turning on some cheese. That's 98.6 miles an hour. So here's Volpe, second and third, two outs. High fly ball, deep left field. Pollock back, still back, turning, looking. See ya! A three run home run for Volpe. And the Yankees lead 6 0. Well, I'm watching the left fielder Pollock, and he only took a couple steps. He knew that was gone. Volpe got a slider that didn't slide. And the lefty Ferguson to the plate. Swinging a deep shot, left field, backing up as Outman. He's watching it. It is gone! A home run! Anthony Volpe goes yard into left field. It hits the bleachers. A two-run shot and some ninth-inning insurance for the Yankees. The rookie with his ninth home run of the season, and the Yankees are now ahead 4-1. to one. Volpe dancing off first, and there he goes. Pitches high, throw to second. Not in time. 14 for 14. I'm sure that's a relief for Anthony Volpe to get the running game going back. And look at that first stolen base, Michael. You talked about it since May 13th. A good pitch to throw on, but just no chance. Now the pitch is half swing. Volpe steals second, so he's 15 out of 15. Driven out to left field, deep, going back, Kelnick, turning, looking, see ya! Home run number 10 for Volpe, and the Yankees lead 4 nothing. Well, we talked about Anthony Volpe making some adjustments in last night's game, getting on top of a high fastball and drilling it for a base hit. Tonight, it's home run number 10 for Volpe. Volpe taking off for third. High pitch, Volpe is safe. 16th stolen base for the Yankee rookie. He'll get a couple hops and then takes off. And Volpe, he slides head first. And we talked about this last night, that if you want to eliminate infielders blocking the bag, you go feet first. That one's driven deep to left field. Going back, Hicks. Turning, looking, see ya. Home run, Volpe. Yankees on the board, it's 3 one O's. Again, Anthony Volpe just continues to have better swings day after day. His 11th home run of the year, 30th RBI. And he has really found his swing. Driven out to right field. Santander back on the track at the wall. See ya. Home run, Volpe. Again, when you're close to the plate and you're closed, you can handle that pitch away, no problem. When we talk about hitting the ball out front, but when you hit the ball the other way, you see how deep it gets. And you can still drive it far enough in Yankee Stadium to circle them all. Must have been the chicken farm, I think. Always is. Yeah. Drill deep to left field. Going back half on the track at the wall. See ya. Home run Volpe. And the Yankees lead three to one. Well, Anthony Volpe has hit some balls hard in this series and got nothing. Well, you know, if you hit him in the stands, they can't catch him. 
up in the strike zone off speed. With that close stance, he is right on it. Runner goes, throw to third. Not in time. Stolen base for Volpe as McKinney goes down on strikes. I think Anthony Volpe kind of lulled them to sleep, thinking that, you know, uh, he's going to let McKinney try to get me over. You see that little hop stuff? He's in movement. Runner goes. Swung on a miss, throw to second. Not in time. Stolen base for Volpe. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, there's been so much success sealing bases, even down four runs. Uh, teams are still going, giving themselves a chance now to pick up a run with just a base hit. There goes Volpe, pitch taken. The throw is way late. And if it wasn't for a great pick by Adam Frazier, that ball would have been in right center field, too. If they all go to the right of second base and they all go into center field. It's unbelievable. Just hit a ground ball if you can. Try to get that run in. Got more. Deep to right field. Low back on the track. See ya. A two-run home run for Volpe. Game is tied at two. Well, McClanahan was pitching him away the whole at bat and I think he was just thinking away anyway. I'm going to try to shoot the ball to right field. And he got that ball up in the air and boy did it carry. But it was a good one of them was a good size. There was two of them in there. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Stolen base for Anthony Volpe. Yeah, real good jump. His last attempt, he got thrown out by Pinto this time. Real good jump off the lefty. This is 20th of the year. High fly, deep left. That could go. See ya. A three run home run for Volpe. Yankees on the board, they lead 3-0. Well, one swing of the bat and a big one for Anthony Volpe, his 15th of the year. Yankees on the board, 3-0 here. Driven out to left field and deep. De La Cruz turns, looks, see ya. Another home run for the rookie. A two-run shot, and the Yankees lead 4-1. Well, again, Anthony Volpe with another big home run, that three-run homer on Friday night, and now a big two-run homer here. Put in the back pocket of Garrett Cole on the mound. That's a big thing because Garrett Cole had just given up a run. Now you throw up a couple more. Driven out to right field and deep. Verdugo back. Turning. Looking. See ya. A game tying three run home run for Anthony Volpe. It's 5 5. High fly ball. Deep right field, rally back, track, wall. See ya! A two-run home run for Volpe. And the Yankees lead four to two. Well, another breaking pitch. You know, that's what the Yankees. Littell doesn't use his fastball a whole lot. He doesn't move it around. And his slider really hasn't been sharp. It's just basically he's been spinning. That's the third home run by the Yankees today on that slider. Volpe cranks that to left field. Anthony Volpe has gone yard again. Number 19 for the rookie. Well, the first three at-bats can be erased. The Yankees showing some power so far here in these first two games against the Tigers. Volpe certainly has shown plenty of power in his rookie season. 19 home runs. Volpe drives that in the air to right field and deep. Carpenter back, racing over, and that is gone! A three-run homer for Anthony Volpe to tie the game with two outs in the ninth. Number 20. It's 3-3, and Volpe has made history. The first Yankee rookie to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in a season.